What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, after we learn how to work on our title block and sheets, so in this exercise, we're going to uh, create a revision cloud and then we're going to add information in our revision table. Okay, so let's do this. So let's say, for example, I'm going to edit some part of the model here like for example this one so i want to extend another wall here so i'm gonna click this and then i'm going to extend it here okay so that is just another modification and then after that i'm going to put another door here okay so let's put a door so i'm gonna select this right click and then create similar and then i'm going to put one here okay so by the way, the reason why automatically there's a tag place on it after I place the door, it's because tag on placement here is activated. So if this is turned off or toggled off, so like that, as you can see, when I place a uh, door here, so there's no tag. Okay, so if you want to place the tag automatically as you place your window, your doors, so you just need to toggle on the tag on placement uh, option there. Okay, so let me just remove this one. Okay, so let's say for example, so after you place your changes here, so you need to inform or let the other people know that these are the changes that you have made on your model. Okay, so what you do is you need to put some revision cloud on it. Okay, but the best way to do this, um, let me undo this one. So I'm going to duplicate the level one. So let me duplicate this. Just duplicate. I do not want to include the annotation. So that's why there's no annotation here on the duplicate model. So I'm going to rename this. So I will call this level one revised and three okay so level one revised and three all right so let's start again so i'm gonna select this wall i'm going to extend that you see that blue nodes i'm going to extend that to here there you go so that's the change and then i'm going to put the door so click right click create similar that door and then press space bar and then i'll just put it here and then i'm gonna flip that to the other side like that and then that's it okay so let's say that's the change that i have done in this uh, model now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to put here a revision cloud so what is that so you go to the uh, annotate and then you can see the detail panel here you can see there the revision cloud okay so you can click the revision cloud and then here on our rectangle here that's the shape of your revision cloud you can still change the the dimension of your revision cloud later but for the meantime i'm just going to put a revision cloud to this area here something like that and then after that i'm going to select check to finish it okay so that's now my uh, revision cloud so if you want to change your revision cloud to different color like for example red so what you do is just go to the visibility graphic overrides and then let's go to the object styles and then on the annotation objects let's look for uh, revision clouds okay so let's change that to red and then okay and then okay and then okay again and that's it now if you want to change the sizes the art length of your revision cloud you just need to go to the view tab and then look for revisions okay so you click that one revision so as you can see this is our first revision okay so this is our first revision 
and then this is the one that I'm talking about you can change this to a lower value like for example 5 and let's see how it looks like select OK and that's it I think this one is much nicer so you can still edit your cloud by selecting it and then selecting edit sketch like that so you can resize that like that okay and then just finish okay so that's your revision cloud so you can still go back again to your revisions here and then you can change the numbering either alphanumeric numeric or none so let's say I'll just put alphanumeric and then you can put the date here so let's say the day today is um, June 16 2022 or 2022 and then you can just put the revision uh, description here so let's say this is a uh, uh, revised entry okay and then select here okay so you can go to your sheet here and then you can put now here your uh, level one revised entry so just drag and drop like that and as you can see automatically it now updates here on your revision and then you can uh, see that this is your uh, revised entry so that's your uh, revision here so if you are going to change let's say for example um, you are going to issue now this drawing you are going to issue the drawing so uh, don't forget to select the revision again so the view where's my revision so let me just right click this and then add to my quick access toolbar like this so click that one and then you can select issue here so you will not be able to edit anymore your revision here once you check uh, issued like that okay so you, let's go inside so this is the one so as you can see if you click your revision cloud here you can you cannot edit that anymore or you cannot delete that okay you can't delete your uh, revision cloud so if you are wondering why because you already set that to to be issued okay because it's already issued so you don't want that to be uh, modified but if ever you are not yet sure or you don't want to issue it yet you just want to let your other uh, your client or the other team members in your project let them know that there's some uh, there are some changes so you can just uncheck the issue here so you can still modify that so if you uncheck that and then select here okay you can select and then you can now edit again and then if you want you can delete this one okay so if you want to add another revision so let's say for example um, uh, you want to move this okay you want to move this here so let's try that so let's click this and then I'm just going to drag it here maybe I'm going to flip this to the other side like that and then again you need to put a cloud here so just go to the annotate so maybe I'm gonna right click this and then add to my quick access toolbar so that it's here so I'm gonna click this one and then again I'll use rectangle so I'll just cloud this like this okay if you have several revision in your project you can actually select it from here okay you can add okay but let's say for example this is not the revision that you would like for this cloud that's all right you can still change that later so for the meantime I'm gonna select this you have no choice and then select here okay and then after that you create another description so I'm going to add one so that's the revision number okay and here so let's say uh, the next day June 17 2022 okay and then you can just select here uh, put here move door lower something like that and then select here okay and then again you can now select this 
and then you can change now the revision for that you can select this one okay so that's your revision b and then you can just uh, right click and deactivate the view again okay so as you can see it's now updated here all right so you can also tag this if you want you can put a tag just make sure you have a loaded revision tag in your project so for this one i'm just gonna uncheck the leader line and then i'm just gonna pick this one so that's my uh, revision b and then this is my revision a you can tag that there you go and then right click the activate view okay there you go Okay, so that's it for this uh, simple exercise of uh, revision. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can just put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.